A local Girl Scout is unveiling a piece of art at a local rec center in remembrance of the STEM school shooting, as well as to raise awareness about mental health. So joining me now is Grace Belfield. And Grace, tell me a little bit about this art installation. Yeah, so um, it's going to be, as you said, it's an art installation dedicated to the recognition of mental health. Um, it's supposed so the symbolism, I guess, behind the art is a lot of stuff relating to like seasons and change and cycles and growth. Um, and so I collaborated with an artist, a local artist, James Holmes, in order to kind of create a piece that really um, connects with these messages. Um, and so by working with him, we were able to input a lot of symbolism and then we're hoping to also have it so it'll have a connection with resources um, so that people can access help um, or just know that they're seen and like feel recognized, I guess. Wonderful. Yeah, I was looking at some of the pictures of it and it's beautiful. Um, tell me a little bit about your inspiration or your drive behind wanting to do this project. Sure. So. Um, I guess like the original inspiration for the project was, of course, um, a shooting that happened at my school um, coming up on two years ago, May 7th, 2019. Um, and so essentially what happened is the day after the shooting happened, there was a sort of vigil um, that took place um, where a lot of my classmates, um, I guess, just like came to the realization that the root of the problem that we had been forced to recognize was mental health. Um, and they all gathered and started chanting for it. And so I kind of took that and realized that, okay, something needs to be done about this. And um, the kind of solution, I guess, the way that I wanted to give back to my community in order to help with this problem was through community art. Wonderful. And I know, um, you know, after that shooting, you guys all went to the rec center where this piece of art is. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what that was like and how you hope this piece of art changes the way people feel when they visit there. Yeah, so um, after the shooting, um, we as students were all relocated to the rec center, which is where we were reunited with our parents. Um, and so at that period of time, there was a lot of uncertainty. There was a lot of fear and just like, like, craziness. Um, and so for a lot of people, I think, including myself in many cases, um, the rec center has a lot of memories um, that aren't necessarily good ones. And so I wanted to take this place um, and brighten it up a bit, um, make it into something that like isn't necessarily a place of fear, but a place of hope. Um, and I wanted to also give back to my community who all came together so fast and to such a great extent to help us after what happened. That's wonderful. You are, you're a very inspiring young lady. Um, tell me a little bit about this project and um, what did you learn through all of this? What was it yeah, like? Um, it, <laughs> it's been a long process. I believe like at the, the very beginning of my project was like two years ago, maybe three. So it's been a long time coming. Um, but I definitely learned like how to communicate with people I don't know and people who I've never talked to before. Um, and just being able to reach out to so many people to put together like a big project, really being able to unite people on one front kind of. And so that's probably the main skill that I've learned. Um, but I've also considered it kind of like a growth, like healing journey kind of thing for me. Um, so kind of this project has been my um, it's been helping me to kind of get back to the community and also come to terms with what happened. Um, but instead of like sinking deeper into this dark area, I'm kind of creating something new, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, that does, that does. Sometimes, you know, just doing something in a project and art really just frees your mind and helps you kind of heal. I like that you've said that's a healing project. Okay, one last question. So this is for the Gold Star Award. Um, the Gold Award, right? Girl Scouts Girl Gold Award. Gold Award. Yep. Great. Tell me a little bit about what that is and what it will mean to you to get that. Sure. Um, so Girl Scouts has three highest awards, which are bronze, silver, and gold. Um, and they different have different requirements and you can get them at different like grade levels. Um, so I already have silver award. And so kind of the next step was gold award. And so for a long time, 
I was kind of looking into getting it because it's the highest award you can get in Girl Scouts. So it's pretty impressive. It's a really big honor. Um, but to get it, you kind of need like a pro problem to solve um, and you need to come up with a solution that is sustainable and has a far reach. Um, and so to get that kind of thing, I'm connecting like this art piece with social media and trying to like spread the word while also offering resources in that way. Um, and the big thing about Gold Award is you need like 100 hours of service, um, which makes it kind of like a big, like huge thing for most people to consider taking on, but it really adds up when you're working on it. Well, thank you so much, Grace, for all the information. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, we'll have more information on our website, cbsdenver.com, for anyone who wants to see the piece of art or learn more about the mission behind it.